Good morning. Thank you for joining me this morning here in Floss Tube. My name is Janine McGowan and I design cross stitch patterns as the blue flower. It's lovely to see you. It's been a busy couple of weeks since the last time. We had Needlework Expo, which is always a treat. Well, two out of two, it's a treat. It's great to actually get to see some of the other designers and have all that creativity swirling around. I was here in my office and Rye came in and joined me for part of it and she even did a little singing <laughs> for some of the people who were in my room then. So big, big stuff, lots of work, lots of fun. And then the weekend afterward I took off and we actually celebrated my birthday. So got some good relaxing in as well to recover from Expo. All right. Jumping right in today to Stitching in Action. The first one we have here is Huckleberry Farm. This is from Jamie C. And she stitched it on 32 count Jamie's kilt, kilt linen from Fabrics by Stephanie. She actually already has a Stitching in Action up on the website because she had done Night Walk Down on that very same fabric and is planning on displaying them as a pair in her house. So thank you, Jamie, for sharing that with us. Then next up, we have Halloween Parade by Elaine H. Now, you may have seen this on Instagram. It's wonderful. She did it on 16 count Gothic Ada from Picture This Plus. It's her first time using the Picture This Plus Ada. So well done. If you look up at her Instagram, you'll be able to see that she gave all of the animals names. I love that. So thank you, Elaine, for sharing that with us. All right, what I'm stitching. I've actually gone back to one of my whips. And uh, this is Anne Long 1826 here from Scarlet House. It's a little bit hard to show it all. I bought it because I love the verse here, as I've mentioned, and I love this blue fence and the tan house. So the house is finished, the fence is finished, and now I just have to go in and put the rest of the elements up the side and finish the verse. So hopefully I'll get this one wrapped up fairly quickly. It's a little tough to show the true colors, but you can see that gorgeous blue happening in there. And then I actually haven't changed this too much, which is shocking for me. Let's see, this is the original here. And as I understand it, this is special for Tanya from Scarlet House because Anne and Tanya share a birthday. So there we go. I have another design in my stash that's similar to this one and so i'm looking forward to once i finish this one getting started on that next one so i can have a pair all right stash spotlight i was flipping through what to talk about this week and i pulled up this one which i wouldn't have thought this is from heartstring samplery it's called grounding force and you may have seen it um she did it in two actual I don't know if colorways is the right word, but she did it on a dark fabric and on a light fabric. And so if you look at Heartstring Samplery Beth's Instagram, you'll see both of those versions. And I have thought of it as a spring piece, but when I was looking today, I was just looking at that and I was seeing, you know, the dark fabric and the butterflies and moths. And I was thinking it might be fun to do that as an overnight colors, kind of spooky colors. So Maybe I'll, I'll go on a side quest and start this one too, instead of a whip. It sounds grander to say it's a side quest. All right, on to the world around. This time I picked the Great Horned Owl, which is pretty common here and in a lot of North America, actually. We have started hearing them in the mornings and evenings here already. Apparently they start nesting earlier than a lot of other species primarily because they don't, in fact, build their own nests. They just take someone else's from last year. <laughs> so they get in early to get that started. They're the largest um, nocturnal predator bird in Nevada. If they were the size of a human, those giant glowing eyes would be like as big as oranges. So that's not creepy at all. <laughs> but I think one of the reasons I love them is that they are so expressive with the ears and the eyes and they just seem to have so many things going on <laughs> in their heads, probably just that we're attributing to them. But uh, anyway, also I learned that their ears are not symmetrical. One tends to be larger and higher than the other. I don't know why that is, but apparently it's quite common. Let's see what else. They're sometimes called the tiger owl because of their size and their fierce hunting behavior. They can take quite large prey, skunks, rabbits, even other hawks, although primarily it's snakes and 
small rodents that they hunt here. And then here's a picture of an owl called Io, who lives at the Animal Ark here in Reno. Io is short for imprinted owl because apparently he was found as a young owl on the ground and was fed by humans before he was turned into rescue. And so, although they made many attempts to release him back into the wild, it was too late. He was imprinted. So Io actually is short for imprinted owl. And now he lives permanently at the animal ark because he can't be released again. All right. So I guess that's a good reminder for all of us. When you are interacting with wild animals, make sure you get some expert advice before doing the things that come naturally, like handling them or feeding them, because it may be causing some long-term trouble. So always great wildlife organizations in your area. They're always happy to give information about what you should and shouldn't do if you encounter a wild animal. So always good to see a, some kind of a success story. I always very happy out at the ark and has a a nice setup there and a permanent home. All right, question this week. My question is about festivals. I think in the autumn and through the holidays that it's kind of time for festivals, maybe because of harvest and Christmas, other winter holidays. I know in Portland, I used to always go to the Scan Fair. So it was a Scandinavian festival there and eat my body weight and able skiver and buy Christmas ornaments. My son is actually out today watching a hot air balloon festival. So my question is, do you have any festivals in your area that you love or in another area that you wish you could go to again now that we're starting to be able to gather? It's time to think of those fun things again. So let me know if you've got any great festivals that maybe I should put on my list as well to visit sometime. All right, best thing this week, it rained. Not very much, but it was wonderful. And we have clean air again, a little bit less fire danger. We're not completely done, but it's a break and we're enjoying every minute of it. And the rain was just a bonus on top of that. So that's the best thing. On to the giveaway. This is a pretty quick floss too, because like I said, it's been super busy. So I'm just kind of getting back in the flow, but I wanted to make sure I got to see you. So we're sliding right along and the next thing is giveaway. Last week, the giveaway prize was this sampler's handbook from the Fitzwilliam Museum. And the winner is Char J57. And she mentioned the turkey vultures I talked about last week because she has them where she lives in Iowa as well. So send me an email or a message with your mailing address and I will get that one off to you. Giveaway this week seemed appropriate since I picked the great horned owl to talk about that I go with something from Owl Forest Embroidery. So it's this kit here. It's called Bayan Cat. I may be mispronouncing that, but it's this beautiful cat with the forest and all the fun designs. And because it's from Owl Forest, it comes in a kit with the linen. It's a, oops, sorry. Slightly modeled kind of neutral linen. Beautiful thread pack here. And I don't know if they do these custom, but you get these fun little owl drops on them as well. A little needle minder. So that's the giveaway this week. You may want to switch out the fabric depending on what you like to stitch on, but that's easily done. And the rest of it, the thread and everything will be there for you. I am going to choose the keyword cat since, you know, it seems appropriate. <laughs> But anyway, use the word cat in your comments and uh, we'll see who wins that. I hope you enjoy it. We have a brief puppy video at the end for some reason after, after the last time when all the pictures were by sleeping. We have a lot more wrestling pictures, so she, she kind of goes in waves of activity versus sleeping. But anyway, it is wonderful to see you. I'm so glad you've taken the time to join me today and I look forward to seeing you again in two weeks. Have a great weekend. Bye.